Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check something really big and it barely fits into our uh, camera frame and even though I zoomed out as much as I could still it is just a part of the box and you can see it's a Hobby Boss kit in really impressive 118 scale they copy it UH-1QEB so it's a famous US helicopter and now we have a chance to check this box closer so I got it with your help with your donations and now we are going to take a closer look at what is included here and by the way because I bought it in the model shop so it means you will get exactly the same stuff it's not something uh, some engineering sample or some pre-release sample it's a final form of this kit and again we have here small information about the model so length of the finished model will be equal to 845 millimeters and width will be 220 millimeters so it's really impressive build if you plan one and of course it will be interesting to see what is actually copied here in this huge box so first of all here you can see comparison with my hand even though it barely gives you any idea on what we have here then on the side we have some information about the kit let me rotate a box so that you can see that here we have one of the marking options I guess that's the same as what we have on the box art and next here we have some safety advices of course this is not a toy and here you can see some history information about this kit and if I flip over this side oh it's really big box so if I flip over this side and rotate it as well so here we have pictures of the finished kit I wouldn't say that it's a top build quality because as you can see we have even some seams not flush here but still it looks really good and I think in 118 scale it's really great build to do especially if you did not assemble any big aircrafts before okay so now I'm trying to open this box and I guess we will have to wait a bit because it's a bit of a tight fit so I would rather do it here on my side of the table because it will be quicker this way okay so what do we have here um, we have really large fuselage house and frankly speaking it already looks like a huge not a toy I would say but almost a helicopter model it just inserts some uh, engine here and you will be <laughs> ready to fly but as you can see box is separated with help of this cardboard section so we get half here and half here and obviously these two are fuselage halves so we will start with them and while I will be opening this fuselage halves because they are sealed in a plastic bag I would like to remind you that you can support us financially we have special donate button on our website so if you would like to support our video reviews if you like them uh, you can press the donate button on our website it's done via PayPal so it should be safe and quick and of course you will be the one deciding how much you will get for new photo and video equipment and by the way now we are trying to collect money for the new lenses which will be really powerful they will give us even better magnification in the video and photos so you will be able to see even more in the video reviews okay so here we start with a fuselage half and that's a really huge one so here you can see comparison with my hand and we have rivets here pre-molded I'm not sure if they should be so big because as far as I remember on real aircraft they're a bit more neat would say but we have what we have and we can zoom in so that you can understand what I'm talking about so here you can see some external features here you can see also engine bay and that's really pity that they did not copy anything inside and maybe there will be some aftermarket producers who will decide to do this this is quite interesting why do we have foam here so just give me a second to remove it so it's just to protect the end section here it is we have even some screws swords so I guess they will be attached with help of the screws because here inside you can notice also some screws swords and we can zoom out a bit now you should be able to see what we have here so that's really huge kit and you can see that we have minor interior features here because they will be visible through these separate doors and of course nobody stops you from some 
um, let's say, super detailing with your own tools and means. And it would be really interesting to see if some aftermarket producers would actually release something for this kit. Next, we continue with another plastic sprue. Here it is. So again, I will use scissors in order to open it and we will take a closer look together. And frankly speaking, uh, this Chinese duo of brands, Hobby Boss and Trumpeteer, they really surprised with their big scale kits because everybody was used to 130 second scale sets, but now we have 118th, 124, and these models are completely different from what we are used to seeing 130 second scale. And that's really cool because not everybody is ready to uh, work even with 130 second because some models are old, we can admit it, so they have, uh, let's say, different eyesight and it's better to work with big parts and that's where these models come handy. Maybe they are also useful for some uh, super detailers who like to improve everything. So in 118 scale you will be able to copy a lot of features with I would say plastic sprues and maybe with some PE parts if there will be any. So here we have another plastic sprue and these are the <laughs> propeller or rotor blades and they're really large. Here you can see their thickness and they're quite heavy by the way. Here we have tail wings as far as you can understand that's the middle part of the uh, propeller and here we have the instrument panel which is uh, detailed with some pre-molded dials but I hope that there are dials decals included as well. Here you can see these parts from the opposite side. Note that both blades and tail wings are molded as a single piece parts so you won't have to deal with separate halves and that's really cool because uh, in such scale it might be a bit tricky to get them flush. Now we get something interesting in the next plastic bag so just give me a second to open it. I can give you a hint that we have a tail area here but it's not your average tail section from some model kit because here we get a one piece well actually they are just connected but still it's a one piece so here you can see it there are two halves connected together so you will have to insert screws here and there and the only question for me is how this screw swords will be hidden on the finished model because as you can see they now are quite evident on the tail section the same goes for about the opposite side so maybe you should uh, let's say close them with your own putty maybe with something else but it would be strange to leave them just as they are and here you can see the locking mechanism for the tail section so you insert it and it will be standing in the fuselage section help, uh, with help of this uh, design. So here you can see it from the top. And again external features look pretty much okay. Of course you will have to work on this seam in the middle but other than that I do not see anything that might be really bad for such scale. And what was really funny for me is this plastic bag. So here we get various screws in order to attach all this stuff together. So I do not see a screwdriver by the way, so you will have to source your own or maybe there is a screwdriver in the opposite box section because we are now dealing with the first one, so who knows, we will see further in this video review. Now I am opening another plastic bag, here we have some parts for the nose section, so just give me a sec. Here it is, let's zoom out a bit. Again, quite large parts due to the scale and molding quality seems to be okay. I wouldn't say that it's really the finest molding I have seen, but they look fine. And here, by the way, we can see all these small pins which should be inserted into the spots where you have the screws. So it looks like manufacturers thought about it and you have to put them inside once you screw the parts together. Here you can check what we have inside. Note that parts count is not that huge. I mean parts are big but the overall count of the parts in the kit is not that I would say impressive or something unusual. It may be even smaller than some 148 scale kits. 
for example here we have parts for the main rotor and you can see that there are a lot of thick one piece plastic parts and obviously such molding quality or such design should be easier to work with maybe even beginners might work with such model because it will be easier to glue everything together and avoid damaging all these elements but for fine detailing it provides you even better I would say background because you can play with a lot of features on your model next I'm opening another plastic bag here we get the large cockpit floor panel and also some minor elements so I'm opening it right now and these are really heavy parts I mean this is a thick plastic one piece panel this for example floor panel so as for the thickness here you can see it maybe camera view will be kind enough yeah now you can see that it's really thick and I'm not joking when I'm saying that it's heavy, it's approximately 50 grams or maybe even more. So quite hefty part. Here we have all the necessary installation slots for the pilot seat and for the rear seat. Obviously I would play with some weathering here. Oh, by the way, that's the landing gears keys. They are molded as a single piece part, so you won't have to attach anything. You basically separate this and attach it to the helicopter fuselage. That's really funny. I mean, seeing this part molded as a single piece part is something unusual from what we are used to see in smaller scale helicopters. Okay, and next we have some missiles or rocket launchers. They come on several plastic sprues because they are smaller. So that's why manufacturer decided to get them on two frames. So just give me a second to get them out. Here is the spare. I will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts. So again they come as a one piece part. So these tubes are a single piece as you can see here. And that's really handy as well because you won't have any ugly seams in between these tubes. Here you can see them from the opposite side. And I think installation will be easy as well because of such design. They just come as a single piece, you assemble them together, install on both sides of the helicopter and you are good to go. Next on the bottom we have the cowl sheet which is really big. But that's no wonder because of the scale of this kit so I would say it was expected. So just give me a second to open it. Okay. I'll remove it now and we will check it together. As far as you can see it is not printed somewhere famous in some famous place. So but printing quality looks fine, so it should be easy to work with these decals. What I'm doing right now, I'm trying to remove the sticky tape which holds in place the another baking sheet for these decals okay so now it should be fine here you can check these decals so let's zoom out a bit and maybe close the camera so that you can see that we have all the necessary decals even the for instrument panel and for the middle console and I would say printing quality looks completely okay. Maybe some of these elements might be even replicated with help of masks and airbrush. It will look more natural and I think it's really crucial in this scale. So definitely think about using such approach on your model. Next we have another fuselage hub but I guess there is no point in checking it because as you can see it's basically the same design. So we will just keep it in order to get to the next spruce. So just give me a moment. Because on the next spruce we have more of the fuselage parts such as separate doors which can be by the way opened on your model and it might be a handy feature in case you have some figures to place inside. I wonder if somebody makes 118 scale figures but here you can see this sprue which I was talking about. Let's zoom out a bit, maybe open the camera and now you can see that here we have separate doors for the front section and for the rear compartment also we have this one piece wall and as you can see there are some pre-molded features which is really cool because you can play here with some weathering and again it's a big sized part just to remind you here is the comparison with my hand 
So you can test various techniques, it will be easier in comparison with a smaller scale and here you can check the doors inside so they feature some small details but they have these pin marks here so you have to use putty in order to remove these marks and get a bit more convincing appearance. Next we have one more plastic sprue. So again I'm using scissors in order to open it. Just give me a second. Okay. So what do we have here? Here we have pilot seats, also some parts for the rear section. And that's not something what I'm fond of, let's say, because here you can see that seat belts on the pilot seats are promoted. I thought it would be easier to provide them as a PE part, but Hobby Boss decided to save some money here and they just input the pre molded seat belts, which look a bit ugly, let's say. I mean, we can say it straight, there is nothing to hide because they do not look natural. So if you would like to get a bit more convincing finish, you will have to send them off and completely replace maybe with a masking tape seat belts, maybe with some PE seat belts. It will be up to you which one you would choose to apply on your model. And next we have quite interesting packaging for clear plastic sprue. It comes in this bubble wrap. So I guess it should preserve parts intact. Just give me a second, I will open it right now. But from what I can see through this plastic bag, molding quality looks really fine, so maybe it would be a good looking result. Okay, so let's take them out and check closer. Of course masks are not included and that will be a tricky part about this kit because, well, these parts are not as clear as some other parts in smaller scale kits. As you can see we have this a bit matte surface which is not that clear as even the clear plastic in the other Hobby Boss kits in the smaller scales. But I think it should be fine for one 18th scale helicopter and of course with some careful painting you will be able to get even better appearance. Do not forget that top sections are in green color, they are not transparent because I saw some builds with the transparent areas and it was a bit strange because we all know this is one of the, I would say, recognizable features of this helicopter. Next we go on with the uh, uh, new items for the August 2020 here, the small brochure, they assembled or they released this lean model. This is really surprising. That's what we reviewed right now. And here on the rear side we have Leopard 1A5. And that might be the model we will check the next time if we will have enough money to get one. Because it's really interesting tank model as you can see it's quite detailed. And obviously in this scale it will be an interesting build. Next we continue with assembly menu, that's actually the last component, well not the last because we have something interesting here. So marking guide comes in form of this small, I would call it poster because as you can see it is quite big. So maybe you can even frame it in order to get a nice picture on your wall. And from what I can see there is one marking option. So. If you would like to have something different, you have to search for some reference photos and maybe airbrush all symbols with your own hands and tools. Here we continue with assembly manual, so it comes in this horizontal style. And it is printed in color, so on the first page we have some safety devices. Here we go on with the parts map, where parts are molded out of green plastic. Obviously uh, our parts were molded in a grey plastic, not the green one. And assembly process starts with the cockpit. So as you remember we have pre-molded seat belts and I really recommend to think about improving this moment because it will 
actually influence the overall appearance of the helicopter. Here we continue work with the fuselage halves and that's really funny that they used actual plastic parts, they did not use some 3D graphics. As you can see these are real plastic parts where they show what you have to do on this or that step. Maybe it will be a bit more understandable feature, maybe not. I mean for me it just shows which parts you should get here and there and it will be a bit easier to understand. And again manufacturer shows that you should assemble it with closed doors but obviously if they're molded separately nobody forbids you from open them, opening them on your model. Here we continue with other fuselage half and next what do we have next? Here we continue again by installing the doors and as you can see it is a movable door so maybe you can install them just like this and then open on your model so that's also an interesting feature which might be handy for transporting this model because it's really large. And next we have quite interesting feature. So as you can see this winding gears keys should be installed on one of the fuselage halves and then they will be closed with another one. That's quite unusual design in my opinion. Next we have, what do we have here? The tail area. So that's the section where the tail um, fin will be fixed in place with help of the lock mechanism. Here we install the cockpit into the another fuselage half and then we basically join them together. Do not forget about the front glass. And next we have the screws. So here you can see by the way these small plastic inserts which will be hiding everything in place. But obviously they will be noticeable on the finished model so you will have to think how to hide them with help of uh, sending and filling them in. Maybe it will be just easier to fill in whole hole, who knows. Here we continue with uh, missile launchers and they are given in several types because as you can see they will be installed just like this. Also don't forget about the nose turret and it is quite simple looking turret so here I would recommend to think about upgrading it somehow with scratch building or maybe something else. Next we continue with the tail area, so here again you use screws and close them with these small plastic pins and next you install tail wings and you start working on the main rotor and here you install these parts in place. So this model will be um, 850 millimeters as far as I remember long, so it's really large kit. For some modders it will be really cool, but I wonder how much paint you would spend on such build. So as I said this set should be already available, you can get it on really any good model shop and I would like to thank you for donations which made this review possible. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!